Brothers and sisters, honey glazed ham? Yeah, yeah. Just look at that. Like what an absolute thing of divine beauty. Who hasn't enjoyed ham at some point? Who hasn't had a ham sandwich? Or ham, egg and chips? Or what about ham and leek pie? It is at the backbone of so many countries' cuisines and it's absolutely key to understand what is a good ham and how to cook it. This is a small series on how to absolutely deliciously smash the living daylights out of ham. Should we meet the ham? The ham comes from the hind leg of the pig. Ginger pig got me this, and so you know that it's good quality meat, the pig has had a great life, it's been treated properly, and you can relax because you know it's good, good meat. This guy is on the bone, that's gonna help with the cooking, it's gonna keep flavor in there, but it's also gonna look great presentation-wise when you start slicing it. This guy needs to be simmered for three and a half hours with a bunch of seasonings. Let's do it. Get your pork, into a pan with some water. Now we need to get extra flavour in there. Good spoonful of peppercorns, some bay leaves, and then chopped onion, carrot, and leek. Let's do it. Two or three bay leaves, drop those in, and then peppercorns. So take about a teaspoon, and then grab a pan, Give them a crunch down, and then get those in. I'm gonna bring that up to the boil, then drop it to a simmer and let it tickle away for three and a half hours. The glaze is what really smashes the ham out the park. I want mustard because mustard and ham are everything. You want the cloves, aromatic, and they give a sort of aniseedy vibe, but the glaze comes from Madeira honey, and brown sugar. Let's do it. Now, I've got a full ham. It's huge. It would feed your family for 10 days if they ate ham every day. You can reduce this recipe down for the size of your ham. To start off, 250 grams of runny honey. Get that all in. You want 100 grams of brown demerary sugar. And then I'm gonna use a quarter of a bottle of Madeira. Get that in, bring it up to the bubble, and then reduce it down a little bit and get it off. Now what you're looking for is these big bubbles. That way you know it's reduced down and it's gonna turn into a proper glaze. That is gonna be beautiful. So let's get it off and get the secret ingredient into it. Now this next tip comes from home economist Jack. Zest and orange in. Now it's time for the second part of the recipe. For that, we need the ham. Let's have a look at it. So that's cooked now. We need to let it cool down, make the glaze, score it up, and whack it in the oven. Damn. Score it one way and then the other, and that helps with the presentation. It also means that there's little squares that are crisping up rather than a whole big skin. So you get consistency of crisp, helps also render out the fat. Next up, I'm gonna put some English mustard all over the ham. Now time to stud with the clothes. Make sure you cover it all over. You want to get the sides and all round. 
doesn't that look insane? Just look at it. Oh, people are going to be knocked out the park when you put that on the table. And it's going to feed an army for a good week. So, in the oven at 200 for a good 30 minutes so it's caramelising. And then the last batch of glaze goes on and we put it in for another 20 to 30. Right. That's beginning to look like an amazing ham. Let's get the second glaze on and back in the oven. <laughs> the ham's cooled down, it's now ready to slice. Now, when you serve this, you take out the clothes because if you bite on one of those you're going to really know about it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start slicing so time for a bit of slow-mo out just look at that like what an absolute thing of divine beauty moist and succulent dry ham is just disgusting it's like a crime to humanity right let's get in there oh 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 it's a bloody work of art it's so tasty it's taken me back to when I was a 19 year old commie chef and I had to make a, a ham every Thursday, Friday for the weekend sandwiches. It's taken me back to my mum's ham sandwiches with mustard. It's flipping delicious. Like you've got baking a ham, it's really, really simple to do and it delivers so much flavour. So that's your lot for now. Part two of this series is out next week where I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate ham sandwich, the Monte Cristo, where French toast meets a croque monsieur. Oh. Oh. A ham sandwich is a beautiful thing. Just look at this, just look at this. The Monte Cristo, it will change your life. <laughs>